gets the life out of you is that this country is following that person. Whoever shouts the loudest is apparently the person that is deciding the future of this country. It's excruciating. Cape Town. Hello, Robert. Hello, mate. How are you? Good, thanks. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, unfortunately, I'm calling to, to, to say uh, I, I do think Singapore is a very well-run country. Well, I know a, a well-run country. Yeah, or city-state, whatever you want to call it. You know, in 65, when they split from Malaysia, um, all the arguments that we hear about why the UK won't succeed in leaving the EU... There were the same arguments made um, about Singapore. And actually, um, they have done very well. They have got the How best... Can, yes, but is your inference that we can follow Singapore's example? Well, I... I my, in, my, in what way are we I, like I, Singapore? Well, if you ask the Singaporeans, and he, Lee Kuan Yew was asked this 15 years ago in a press conference, and he said, look... We, it was a British reporter who asked him a question. He said, "Look, we've, we've just taken your system because they have a two. They've got two houses. They're, they're, they're um, not constitution, but the way they their politics is organised, it's lifted straight from the British. Um, it's just that they've taken it and then run with it and done better things with it. I think. But look, let me ask you. Here, I've got a question for you. Well, I asked it's you a question. Important. In what way are we like Singapore? How could we possibly copy Singapore?" Well, we, we're quite entrepreneurial. We're quite um, open to foreign direct investment. We're quite happy for people to pitch up and set up companies um, and buy companies in our country, M much more so than you get in the rest of Europe. They're a lot more protectionist in that way. And Britain has always been... You know, we're happy to have foreign football managers, foreign managers of our banks. You know, we, you know all, all, all of market. these things are something that people would complain about. Brexit is more than anybody. No, not necessarily. I don't. I don't. Well, I'm a Brexit. Yeah, I, I don't see a problem with that. But what, one of the things I really like um, is that the, Lee Kuan Yew. He gave a speech in '66, and he said the wealth of the nation will be judged on the health of the nation, and they have got an amazing public health care system. And I wanted to run an idea by you. What they do in Singapore? I was every, under the impression uh, that the NHS was the envy of the world. We uh, patriotic <laughs> Brexiteers are forever, <laughs> are, are forever telling us that. Come on. You, you no, don't, that's, no, true. that's true. Um, well, I, I think the NHS has got... Uh, it's a bit patchy, isn't it, the cover? Let's, let's be honest. Yes, but, no, it's, they, they yes, but you, you can't compare Singapore with Great Britain. How is that possible? Well, I mean, do, let, do you know what Singapore is actually like? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I do. But look, look, let me ask you a question, right? This is what they do with the NHS. Over there, every single person has an account, and the government puts money into the account for their health. And if you get sick, you go around the hospitals, you speak to a doctor, and you choose which hospital you want to have. Right, to OK, well, you could be describing Germany this, right? or France. Germany no, no, and France no, 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 have no, no, similar no, 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 situations, and so does uh, the Netherlands no, and uh, Sweden and so on. Here's, Nick, here's the difference. Here's the absolute concrete difference. If you die, or when you die, um, if you haven't used up all the money in that account, it gets passed on to your relatives. And so you create this massive incentive for people to keep themselves healthy. And as a result of that, there's much less demand generally um, on the system. And that's why they have the best healthcare system in the world. They've also got the best education system in the world. They and, have and, the best. Know, wait a minute. They have the best healthcare system in the world because you have a finite pot of money, and if you don't take from it, then it goes to your relatives. Is that what you're saying? No. no. So let's say, you, no, 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 no. So what you what they've done is they've created an incentive for people to actually keep themselves healthy. Well, surely the incentive right. to keep yourself healthy is to be healthy. Well, it should be, but let's be honest, that doesn't happen, does it, in the UK and in many parts of the um, Anglosphere, well, the, in Europe. There's loads of overweight people who eat rubbish and all the rest of it and don't exercise. Well, I would suggest that the people in Singapore aren't overweight as we are because they have a different diet. When they start yeah, eating people, burgers in the same, uh, uh, the same number as uh, we do and eating sugary cereals for breakfast and so on, when they change their diet to a Western one, then you'll find that they will get do fatter. My, do, you, do you see my point about the No, not really. It, it seems bizarre. The, the incentive to be healthy is surely to be healthy, not that some future member of your family will gain um, financially from your health. It just seems utterly weird. 
There are plenty of other countries that have better results from their health care than we do, and they don't have to go through that weird scenario that you just described. Most of the people in Europe have uh, better outcomes in, uh, from their uh, health system than we do. There's some things about Singapore that people just don't seem to understand and to compare them to us and to say that this is where we can go just seems utterly weird. Uh, it, it's either that they are completely ignorant of what it is, it is that we're talking about or they are uh, deliberately uh, disseminating misinformation about it. I don't know which one is true of the Foreign Secretary, but I'll tell you a bit about Singapore uh, when we come back. Oh, three.